I just came through the door of the East Parking Garage, which is right outside the old Strawbridges slash Wanamaker store, or Macy's Plaza, whatever. And look, they're storing those things down there. Not only that, they've already been again some kind of demolition because look at that. It's the back of some kind of wall, like a barricade wall. It's happening in California Cafe. Look. The entire barricade wall is blocking the entire wall of the Strawbridge's wing. This is the only area where you can enter because it's, it's an East Parking Garage entrance to the mall. Now, they're actually starting to demolish the Strawbridge's. Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to go downstairs, the stairs instead, since it'll be much quicker than that Schindler over there. I'm going to see if anything downstairs is happening. Let's see. Oh, it looks like it. I'm going down the man-powered elevator. This is what we found. Now I made a video maybe about six or so months ago, about a half a year ago, and <coughs> and the Strawbridges was just getting started and emptying out their thing, their store. Look at that. Oh, it's still in the same phase now, but now they're storing all this shit in here. Well. You know what? I'll keep you updated. Every time, like, I think weekly, I'll keep you updated since I come here at least once a week. Biggest mall in America. Retail, of course. Alright, there's a construction guy. Hi, are you guys going to demolish this place? Oh, yeah, this whole place is coming down, man. Alright, uh, when, when do you think that that's going to start after you're done gutting it? Yeah, probably. It's supposed to be done in the next couple months. Oh, really? Yeah. And then you guys are going to build it back up? I think, yes. yeah. They're building something else here. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Alright, cool. Thanks. Okay, people. Well, the uh, July 22nd, Friday, July 22nd update, which is barely an update, is this. It says corridor. De development in progress, but it really means this building is getting demolished. Reopening in fall 2012. We also wrote that down there, but there's no other changes. It is not a corridor redevelopment. It is more like a whole wing development. Okay. Let's see what, uh, exact same, but they are doing a lot of loud work that can be heard from all the way over there in Neiman Marcus and Lord and Taylor. Should probably be zooming out. They're still gutting the California Cafe. And I bet that they're still gutting the stores that are inside of this little, behind the little wall. Now we are inside of the wall. There used to be, for like, about like a few days, uh, since I come here, like, probably uh, every other day, there were, this caution tape was up, so people could only use this ramp. Now, oh, look, the door is open over there to the Strawbridge's store, aka Wanamaker's, aka Macy's Plaza, aka Hex, aka Amphitheater. Ooh, I see the escalator. There. See, they have that little gaslight thing. I hear them doing work. I see people. See, that's the escalator. The elevator would be somewhere over here. They took all the light fixtures out, so they have to use that, like, you know, propane lamp thing. It's not propane, it's connected to. But they disconnected all the electricity to this uh, building. So they have to do that, and they have to get energy out of the mall. 
Well, that's all the time for today's update. But I guess that uh, I'll see you next time on the update of the Wanamaker's building. See ya! Alright. It doesn't look like much has happened. Same stuff going on. You know. Except, what's that? A board covering up the door? Hmm. Well. What's going on down there? We'll check it out, then we'll go outside. This is gonna be a long video. Huh. An actual janitor who is not an illegal. But, she's still a black lady. Well, at least Simon's making progress. Right. We'll use the stairs since that Schindler over there will be too slow. By the way, I'm using my iPod because Simon has gotten much more strict. Alright. Now, it doesn't look like much is going on except they're advertising their King of Russia Mall iPhone app. But yeah. It's uh, a lot going on. Oh, look, what do we have here? Now this is where uh, Straw Ridge's entrance used to be. It looks like they've shortened it to a small corridor with now door, no door. Oh, looks like we're coming up at the Straw Ridge's court or the Macy's Plaza court. Oh, look. Look, what's going on here? Exit, I guess that's for the service corridor. It says, the safety service corridor, of course. So I guess that this is a, all right, right out there is the East Parking Garage. See? Here's the elevator. Up. Oh. Seems like someone got stuck in here. Is anyone stuck in there? No? No, no one's stuck in there. They just rang the alarm on purpose. It's a stairwell. And let's check what's happening to our Wanamaker's building on the outside. There's basically the building. Yeah. So, uh, yes, I do have a Camp Rush Mall app on this iPod Touch. What do we have here? Oh, a fence. What does this say? Danger, construction area, do not enter. There's, uh, over there, the same signs and stuff on the door. Looks like they started to demolish that tree over there, whatever plant, and that one too, but either that or it's starting to rot. It's like they got the entire area covered, because this entire, uh, not, you, this isn't usable at all, this first floor part of that. So it looks like we'll use the elevator on this side. And I guess that, uh, I think that the second floor is the only accessible floor. Um, and of course the first floor, part of the first floor. But the two and two and a half floor are not accessible. And I'll just tell you that right now just to make it shorter so I don't have to show you. There's the loading dock. There's the door over there that we came out of. And... Looks like the elevator's waiting for us. I made a video of this about a month ago, maybe less. And here we go. It's one of those things. Um, I would have avoided using the Schindler, but it's faster than the man-powered elevator, I can tell you that, since it was waiting for us. But the Schindler inside isn't. 
So I have to make it more safer since it's more used. All right, so here's the second floor entrance. Basically, we were there before I took the inter internal stairs down. Uh, all right, it'll take a little while to walk around. But yeah, I uh, was on vacation for the past uh, past couple weeks, so I wasn't able to film anything at all. Actually, uh, two weeks ago when I was here, I was actually filming this, but it my flip died on me. So that's also another reason why I'm using my iPod. Uh-oh. You can barely see it, probably, but, uh, over there, there is seemingly, uh, fences around it. And where are we going? Um, the car over there. Huh. Well, the fence, they sort of put a little fence on the stairwell. And, uh, but yeah, the uh, elevator is unoperable. Well, these floor indicators don't usually work, but buttons aren't lighting up when I push it. I'm guessing that that's going down with the building. Uh, they've put up fence over here. And, uh, you can sort of see inside that there's a, like, open area open to the outside because it's light and there's... They disconnected the power from uh, from this building, from uh, the Strawbridge building. It just finished raining, so there's water on top of the roof of the canopy, whatever. And get ready to see the climax part. Yep, there she is. The loading dock is finished being demolished. I can barely see with the sun's glare. There you go. Let's get a view from over here. There's the atrium that me and Dan have filmed. There's Best Buy and I have to walk to the movie theater up there later since when I catch a movie there so I'm gonna meet my family up there. And there you are. There you go. There's the building, all torn up. It's sort of sad because I grew up with this building. All right, let's find a stairwell. Guess we could go this way. Um, you know what, I'll get an up close view. I've already gotten to about eight minutes. So, this is a pretty long video. Part is empty because there's no accessible entrances over here anymore. There hasn't been since 2007. But this roadway is still used a lot, so still have to look both ways before crossing that little area. Now this stairwell, this man-powered elevator, looks just like the one in the west parking deck. This is one of the external ones, and uh. The only uh, elevators and man-powered elevators in that parking deck are external. Uh, I think that there's a stairwell over here. No, there isn't. It's just on the other side of the... Now, as uh, Dan Allen has told me before, whoever uh, built this parking garage probably built uh, it's probably someone who's related to Austin Gale. Now I don't agree with that part. But look at all this stuff. I don't agree with that part, but I do agree that it's not such a great layout, if you know what I mean. Put all the elevators and stairwells in the wrong places. Oh, there's a construction vehicle. And it looks like uh, that area is fenced off. 
All right, look both ways. another ramp to it's like a second upstairs it's like two halves it's like two buildings but it's in one all right I've heard that even the uh, two buildings of this mall could be uh, bridged by sec second floor of the plaza and third floor of Macy's Well, it looks like uh, the fencing has been taken down on this part. Either that or they're going to put it up. There you are, folks. Oh, I see the freight elevator. Let's take a good look at that. It's too bad I can't zoom in, but yes, I do see the freight elevator. It's like they took out the door of the first floor. sort of see it right up there you see it I barely do it's right there uh, point to it right there where my finger is there yeah it's very sad the uh, regular elevator the passenger elevator is actually on the other side of the store I know that because I've seen it and uh, I just sort of remember it from when I was little. Alright, there we have it, folks. It's gotten started to be demolished. I can't believe I missed all of that over the week, uh, over the couple weeks. Well, I guess I'll enter through this entrance now. Peace. Well, we're going down the first floor to the Strawbridge's Court. It used to be the Strawbridge's Court, should I say. And, and look what they've done. So, right here used to be a, where it broke off and went that way. Then a service corridor starts right up here. Let's see. The series quarter starts. Now, look at this. That's where it is now. And here, wait, where's the camera? Oh, dang it. Alright. What's going on in there? Looks like there's a block. There's it's blocking. Uh okay, what I saw when I looked through there oh god. Uh see those uh the support things? Those right there? Those are supporting the wall. It used to be the strawberry's entrance. That's our border. So, but, and this is the smoking area for the employees detour. That says no smoking. You see, now there's no employees, only signs. So, there's the freight elevator. There's the loading dock receiving area six. But let's go outside and have a look, shall we? And uh, this is actually the way that we used to get outside the last time. See? Remember it? Now the service corridor is open. Now this, it was completely out of order. But now I guess it's not. Now you still can't go up to three at all. 2.5 works. Uh, we'll start from there and then head on down. It runs about as good as, uh, as it used to. I thought that it was completely out of order, but I guess it's not. But will be. I believe that they're replacing the elevator. Well, maybe not this one, but definitely. Oh, look. Caution tape. Let's... <laughs> no, this is, is, like, totally bad, but let's look around, shall we? 
And look at this. Oh god. Okay, I'm definitely. Ugh, look at all that debris. Yeah, I'm definitely going downstairs. <laughs> going downstairs one level. Well, actually, half of the level, should I say? See? Closed. It's closed off. I just get under there. There we go. See? It's completely horrid. Now, not much is happening here on the second level, but you'll be surprised when you see what happens on the first level. And let's just get a quick look at the second level parking garage entrance. Uh, there's Strawbridge and Company. Huh. They turned off the automatic doors. See? Yep. These are completely turned off. That's where California Cafe used to be. Look, this is basically what they had on the service corridor first first floor entrance that we saw. Except this is just the second floor. That's holding up the thing, whatever. They're gonna demolish that. And basically this is what you see. Alright, we'll go outside, we'll go to the first level parking garage. It says out of order on that door, but I don't know why. Uh oh, rain starting. <laughs> it is raining. We just got past a big hurricane. And I don't know, maybe it's coming back. It happened last night. Let's go downstairs. I don't feel like taking the stairs. That's how lazy I am. All right. See, it's raining now. It was raining all of last night. The power went out at one point. And I was surprised that uh, this place wasn't flooded like it was about uh, about a year ago. Remember when that happened? Actually, less than a year ago. But there were many shopping centers, like strip malls in the area that, uh, that were flooded. It made my dad mad because most of those places had the wine and spirits store. He was all out of wine. So I told him he should have gotten it before the hurricane started. It takes the longest time to level. All right, vending machine. And there's always an employee out there smoking. Here's uh, receiving area six. As you can see, it's not being used at all because of the construction. I mean, people could easily use it, but they don't feel like it because uh, because of the construction in the area. <laughs> it's a Pennsylvania thing. Yeah, whatever. So now we're gonna go and look at this. Okay, so the gates are still up, the fences, but look at that. See, they knocked down the entrance, and I bet that it's knocked down on the other side, too. Uh, it's completely flooded inside. I can't zoom in, but just trust me, I see it raining inside of the building, and it's really gross. Now, as you can see up there, see, that is... Um, a bunch of pipes and stuff and heaters, whatever it's, whatever it is, and uh, so yeah, that's I guess where the boiler room or whatever you want to call it is of that building. As I've told you before, the power they they basically disconnected the power from that building. Uh, they had to reroute traffic so it goes that way on that line of parking of this I'm gonna bet you that uh that that elevator over there it's either gonna be demolished and just have people use the elevator number one or uh or they'll just uh replace it now I hope that they replace it so that we can get a better elevator 
that's level 1.5 it is not accessible from any elevators so no one really parks there no one ever parked there even when it was Strawbridge's and Macy's all right as you can see here elevator is still shut down machine room I guess is locked and stuff and stairs are shut but I mean it's really nothing. Uh, I'm not gonna go to the second floor. We don't really need a view. Up. And I guess this is the end of the line. I'm guessing that this area is where the employees park. I have no idea what that is over there. In that closet. But it has a Dan, if you know what that thing is, tell me on um, comment. It looks like this entrance has not been demolished yet. But um, you can sort of see, uh, you probably can't see it, but on that gray sign up there, see it? It's, uh, it's I still see the Macy's outline. And then you can see the two little bolt things next to it. Those were the uh, light fixtures that held up uh, the Strawbridge's sign. They have them on the entrance, the main entrance is inside, and the second floor entrance on the other side by Rite Aid, above Rite Aid. Yes, I believe that they did have one of those entrances. So, I guess I'll, whoa. It's very windy out here. It's part of the hurricane. I don't even know if this hurricane is over yet. But yes, I can now say I have survived an earthquake and a hurricane in the same week. Oh my god, my head is... I'm gonna upload this before I upload these Philadelphia videos. Oh, god. Ah, I hate this. There's a car. Alrighty. I guess this is the end of the video. I don't think that you need to watch me walk inside, but I just want to see. I wish that iPods had the ability to zoom, but they don't. So, I guess that is it. Goodbye. Impression them all. Halloween Adventure Store because uh, they opened in where Models used to be. There's that. There's a little ramp. There's where the Strawbridge's auxiliary entrance used to be, past that escalator. This is Schindler, by the way. Um, this is the wall where Strawbridge's was. Now you saw Halloween Adventure Store open because it is September. Um. And I might not upload this like right after. I might even it might even take a week to upload. But right now it is September. Gosh, why am I blanking out on? Oh my God! It's the 10th anniversary of September 11th. So now let's take a moment of silence to sort of I guess uh, remember the losses that have happened in New York City, Manhattan. All right, thank you. And uh, not just Manhattan, on where Ground Zero currently is, but also Arlington, Virginia, the Pentagon, and then also uh, Shanksville, Pennsylvania. That used to be a small town that no one knew about. Now it's a large town that Al Qaeda even knows about. Speaking of Al Qaeda, why do you think that um, they don't let us film in the mall? because they think that we might be members of who... Oh my god, I can't believe it. It's the 10th anniversary. Why am I filming? If I could get caught by mall security. <laughs> anyway, it's been a few changes. Um, I just want to quickly show you uh, this. It's, uh, 
What's going on? See? It's the exit to the east parking deck. Now if you go back here, this is where I want to show Dan. Now I uh, see this is the ramp. It takes us up. And uh, a lot going on over here. See? Yep. So we'll go out and see what's going on on the upper levels. Upper levels haven't had much done. I'll just tell you there's been construction that has to do with uh, handicapped spot parking someone anyway construction done with um, jackhammers and uh, you know what everything on the side this is sort of the same as it was just a few more gaping holes oh. Oh, I thought that wasn't working for a second. But you can see there's a lot of stuff going on. I mean, it's all, it was already dirty before, and now it's more dirty from all the construction stuff. Now, see, three still doesn't work. 2.5 does, but we're not going to actually take it up there. So it's really not worth filming on the other side because, uh, I mean, there's really nothing going on other than the stuff that already happened. Um... to level. I got scared for a second. Okay, well, as you can see, there's just fences here where the stairs led to, and so really the stairs aren't an option, only the elevator is. Uh, well, it surprises me that there's no employees smoking here. We'll just go inside of the service corridor show you what went on. You already saw that, but what you didn't see is this. Where the wall used to be is a uh, carpet. Then see that's the diagonal split, and then right here is where the Strawbridges slash Wanamaker's Court used to be. I don't even know if there was a Wanamaker's Court because uh, the mall was half open, half enclosed. I'm not gonna go out there because I think that they installed a employees only sign. If there's any mall security, I'm in big trouble since it's September 11th and this is where, and the 10th anniversary, so it's where the most threats are coming in. So I'm definitely not going that way. Uh, not much else has happened. Let me think, think, think. Um, they're putting in a temporary entrance. I'll show you that later. You know what? Why am I even going this way? Uh, you know what I'll do? I'll go back upstairs using the elevator. And I'm going to show you. And this is the longest video ever. I don't have the right editing software to edit any of this stuff out. Yeah, it's becoming the longest video ever. Um, yeah, luckily my account is enabled for, uh, whatchamacallit, oh, why am I going that way? I keep blanking out because I keep talking. Blabbermouth of the century. This video is going to be titled, uh, Update September 11th, 2011 on the construction on the uh, Wanamaker's whatever uh, and and an unexpected tribute to 9-11 because you remember in the first few minutes of the video I was talking so much that I didn't realize I was tributing 9-11 on the 10th anniversary 
Okay. So we'll go inside, and then we'll take the escalator down, and I'll show you where. The, I don't even know if the entrance is there yet. The new entrance. Here's what we saw earlier. Um, that used to be a surveillance camera. They just recently installed the surveillance system. Um, yeah, I once got uh, reprimanded by Valor Guy, who saw me uh, hanging around the escalator once near Lord and Taylor, that escalator. If anyone knows the layout of this mall. Um, yeah. So now we're going to go over here, and I'm going to show you. I don't even know if the entrance is open yet, but if it is, uh, I've heard that the entrance is just because uh, the temporary entrance is there because. Oh, wait. Oh, here, let me show you a little picture. Because, guess where they're. Oh, hold on. Guess where they're making the uh, entrance to the new wing? See? It's at the corner. That is where the currently uh, Rite Aid entrance happens to be. You know where that entrance is. It's the main entrance that most people use if they're not going through a department store. You, you, you usually use either that one, TGI Fridays, or, um, or Crosswalk. And occasionally the one by Public Safety. But that's the one... That's the temp that's where uh, that's right down the loading dock from where the temporary entrance is being built. Yes, I said loading dock or receiving area, whatever you want to call it. They're building the temporary entrance in the middle of a receiving area. How's that for like temporary or I don't know, Simon, I guess is the word I want to use. It's a good thing I talk a lot because that walk to this escalator would have been so boring. Probably is. Alright, so I'm about to show you the temporary entrance. Now I'm gonna. Alright, look. That entrance is still open, but not for long. So we're gonna say goodbye to that entrance because we're probably not gonna use it for update videos anymore. Okay, so, wait a minute, there's a temporary entrance. You see, I just recently, hold on, let me act like I'm texting. I know. Yeah. I'm acting like I'm texting on this. Those doors soon will have glass on them. Yeah. Oh, okay. I remember I spoke to you outside about taking pictures of one day. You can't yeah. do that in here. You can't take pictures. I'm just taking your voice memo, like, and I'm pointing it at the floor. I'm trying not to. Hey, you still have to be careful because you're not supposed to do that either. You can take a voice. Oh, really? You can take a voice recording without taking any pictures. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, then I'll just sort of cover it up like this. Thank you. All right. Thanks. So, uh, anyway, yeah, she was the one who spoke to me before, uh, and, um, yeah, about taking pictures of that entrance. She's always near there, so, <laughs> you'll see the entrance sooner or later. It'll open up. Oh, gosh. All right, anyway, see ya. Guess where we are right now? We are inside of the Schindler Cafe Court Elevator. L.L. Bean is doing many, 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 way, way too much over advertising. Anyway, I'm going to try and keep this uh, video from the security. Big changes with the cons construction has encountered many big changes. Start by that. It's not that big, but you'll see. What I mean by big changes. Make sure that there's no security and enter the service corridor. 
This is the new service corridor that I showed in the last video. Okay, you're gonna love this. All right, construction closet that they rented out for. And we just came outside into the employee smoking area. Look at all this going on. Yeah. <laughs> the elevator is still in operation. It really shouldn't be, though. So I'm not going to ride it. And then everything from here. Well, you can see there's a little back stairwell. I think it's an emergency exit stairwell. Uh, from um, Wanamaker's, uh, probably uh, Strawberry just put that in, or maybe Hex, but I don't know. But anyway, because Wanamaker's was here before the uh, 1996 renovation occurred, so so a lot of things happened when Hex moved in. Anyway, um, so yeah, there's a new Marcus entrance up those stairs. Um, loading dock is just fine and dandy. Um, they put green covering over these fences. Okay, let's see. Alright, there you go. You got a big portion of it, you know, demolished. I'm not going to go into the right aid wing, whether it's outside nor inside, since uh, that security lady will just yell at me. Um, yeah, so, you know what, I'm going to take this upstairs, I'm going to use the stairs over there that lead to Newman Marcus. This will take a little while. So yeah, um, more than half of it is demolished, you can see over to the other side, uh, as I told you, there, there's a new entrance going in place of the right aid entrance, but I don't know, I think that that might even be the uh, new entrance that we saw on the little poster of when it'll be finished. Um, they just say corridor re redevelopment, but everyone now knows from all the construction noises that it's not just a corridor. Uh, let's go up the stairs. This is a main powered elevator. He's parking deck, you can't push them off. It's a Schindler with RT fixtures. Now we're on level 1.5, but there's nothing here. Let's go to level two. All right, people are looking at me like, what is this kid doing? Uh, Got to be conscious about the security here. Oh, they just retied the caution tape. It used to be against that. Now it's not. Are ready? Get ready for this. new entrance. This old entrance is getting demolished. Stanley doors. This one doesn't work. Okay. So you see that? No idea what's going to happen to uh, California Cafe. Look at this. First of all, they moved the doors. They might reopen California Cafe. Look at that. That's the new East Parking Deck entrance. That's pretty much it. Oh, they're painting. Well, let me think. Is there anything else? Oh, security's over there. 
Is there anything else I need to show? No. Uh, yeah, pretty much that was it. Look, it's wallpaper. Basically, down here, there's a whole bunch of stores painted on. There's the new entrance, exit to parking garage. And they are going to put the California Cafe right there. There's a couple of Starbucks. <laughs> All right, no, we're going this way, Dan. Come on. Oh, by the way, there's doors along that uh, that wall, uh, and you'll see them in a sec. Oh, by the way, guess who's guest starring in this update? Hi. Hi. This is the ramp. You can also choose to go flat and then up the stairs. Sort of like the uh, the old way, but. Um, there's a Wheelock um, speaker strobe or chime strobe. I don't know which one. Yeah, but it's probably not in service. Oh, low battery light. Seriously? From renovation to celebration. Please excuse our noise and dust. We renovate, update, and decorate. Dan, that is not working. Really? Wait, it is? It's working? Yes. It wasn't working before. Because the smoke alarm went off in the elevator. Well, you go upstairs and I'll take the steps because I need the exercise. I need the exercise too. And I'm just saying. Yeah. You know, well, I'm just saying that because I don't want to use that death trap. Because that elevator. That um, elevator sucks. Well, that elevator has become uh, the former, uh, you know, elevator by the two speed elevator. Oh, I thought you meant to John Randy for elevator. Well. Oh. oh, looks like they uh, open up the third level. Wait, hello? What? What? Well, Put new really lights. Do up here, anything? Uh, not too much, but I'm not going to show you that view. You? No, I'm going to show it from the third floor. Come on. Basically, the only thing that has changed is. Wait a couple seconds. completely down. No one has parked up here. Um, so yeah. Well, they opened up that little road. You know that one over there? Didn't used to be open. They just opened it up for commuters. Okay, so if you see there, those were the previous stores. You can see right up there that's an old uh, stairwell from the service corridor. And, um, and Dan says that he thinks that he saw a uh, Schindler HT, but I don't think that that was really there. Uh, so yeah. Oh, and uh, see that little entrance up there? They just uh, drilled that in so that they can get in and out of the construction area uh, through the stairwell. Uh, they blocked off the stairwell, I believe, though, so I still have it blocked off. Um, now we're going to go over to the, oh, there's a new Marcus uh, stairwell. Come on, you coming? <laughs> Public safety, hold on. You better not. Okay, uh, I was just going to sell you. That entrance over there, the old Strawbridge's entrance, see that one? Uh, that was the third floor Strawbridge's entrance. And, um, hold on. Oh gosh, lost my headphones. Um, that doesn't seem to have a gate or fence, whatever you call it. So I'm guessing that that level isn't really open. Dan, I don't know about this. Well, I told you they still blocked off the first floor since they're, since uh, that part of this uh, the place that the, those stairs lead down to is within the construction range. But yeah. So, nothing else really has changed. So, I guess that's it. As you can tell by the title of this video, it is an update. But you'll never guess where I'm starting from.
All right, so it says three there. Oh, it says three there too. Huh, that's strange. The elevator actually goes up to three. Look, new button. Mostly employees park on this level. Um, even though they're really told to park on two and a half. Which I don't know why, it's probably because uh, Strawbridge's used to be here. Huh. It's really weird. I don't know. Anyway. So yeah, we're starting from three because we haven't been able to go up to three in a while. Now not much has changed since the video that I just uploaded this morning. Or should I say one o'clock in the afternoon. But we actually got a better view. It's a big pile of gravel. I'm guessing that they're going to lay out. Um, there is a little pipeline thing. Trying to block off the sun. Oh, uh, you might just go downstairs to get a better look at it. Um, this is sort of a better way to show you the overall view. Um, in a sec, we're going to go over there to check out the other elevator, which I believe was is uh, they turned it back on. They probably didn't modernize it since they didn't modernize this one. Um, but yeah, this, is the, this parking deck. As you can see, those little, um, you can't really see, but those little gray things in there. Those are the little doors that you've seen on the wallpaper. There's the elevator thing, and then right next to it, those things up there. Those are the uh, old small bridges to this straw bridges slash watermakers department store. Um, by the time that this parking garage was um, completed, oh shit, public safety. By the time that uh, parking deck was completed, uh, the um, it's not public safety anymore; it's security. Hold on, let me just hide in here. This is the stairwell or man-powered elevator, as Diesel Doozy would call it. Um, so yeah. The old department store. By the time that this parking garage was built, uh, John Wanamaker and Company um, had already been decommissioned, and I think the Hex was here. So, but it was drawbridges for the rest of the time. Well, and Macy's Plaza, but I don't know. Public safety is going. You know what? Public safety is on level two and a half, and I saw him going up. I saw him using the other elevator. You know what? That ends this video because there's not much else to show. Okay, bye. This is the update video for January 2nd, 2012. As you can see, we're sort of getting along with the construction. I am on level two right now of the east parking garage. See, there's one elevator shaft that, and, uh, that they could easily make glass. This one, same, but this is the double speed. I don't know what they're gonna do with that. But you can see that they're coming along with the construction. Um, hold on a minute. Let me just find a way to get down to near the Rite Aid entrance. Really hope that that bitchy security guard doesn't come and find me. Um, actually, I think I can get a good view of it from over here, what I'm trying to show you. Uh, it's freezing out here. It's a good thing I'm holding this. By the way, it's a skinny caramel macchiato. If anyone, <coughs> Dan, <coughs> is wondering. See, uh, well, you can't really see it well. It's just a big black thing right there. No, Dan, don't make a comment.
Um, I'm just gonna try and find a way to get down to the right aid entrance. Uh, hold on a minute. Let me just, just in case security drives by, I'm gonna pretend that I'm texting, so it has to be sideways. I would make two separate videos so that you don't have to watch me walking, but uh, I don't have that kind of software. Damn it. I really want to just find a way to get the fuck downstairs. Yes, if Otis Firelight 219 is watching, I'm here twice, two days in a row. And also Dan, since you know that I came here yesterday. Alright. I'm still holding it, uh, I guess sideways. Uh, it's really the right way, but uh, I started the video, I guess, sideways from this angle. So it stays that way. Let me just get down to right it. Again, this is some maintenance stuff. I'm gonna try and find the software to Sorry you had to endure like about three whole minutes of that. It's four minutes in the video, but three minutes I've been walking. And it'll probably be up to four when I'm done. Yeah, now I'm pretending that I'm talking on the phone. Because people are looking at me like crazy. So, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> No, I don't really, people can't hear, make out the words that I'm saying, so it doesn't really matter. Right now I'm pretending to text again. And this is a part where a lot of cars are driving. See, that car almost hit me. Alright, I'm gonna show you something that I am inferring. Uh, there's that. I really hope that they don't see me on security cameras or anything. Alright, hold on. Let me put the Starbucks down. See that? That's the old uh, East Parking Deck entrance. I started my video from there a couple times back in the summer. Um, of course, it's not that way anymore because they had to demolish it. But yeah, that's basically the inside. We're looking at it from the inside. I'm guessing it's gonna be an entrance to one of the stores, probably. And um, also you can see it down there. That's the old entrance to the service corridor. Um, so I'm guessing that the, that's where the two-story uh, store is going to be, and those are going to be the entrances to it. Uh, I'm guessing that's going to be uh, a Schindler um, 330A, uh, or as Delgado and the other three Stooges, whatever, love me to say, 330A. Uh, yeah, basically. 
security and uh, or I mean why I say security everything's going well I hope that security doesn't see me all right Fletchia that elevator could easily be made glass because I don't think they're building anything back there so yeah pretty much that's it uh yeah so just pick up my Starbucks and head on inside bye bye Good evening, I guess it's evening, um, unless you're watching this sometime else in the day. Um, this is YouTube user Owen Hinton uh, with a, I guess, double feature video where I will be showing, well, more so talking about two things. It's mainly an update video on the construction, but uh, it's also a, another feature that I just found out about, but I should have found out about months ago. So basically, they're, this is the first part of the update. They're pretty much doing pr well on this construction. Uh, by the way, I'm on the third floor of the parking deck. Now, as most of you know, this mall um, actually counts the floors of the parking decks as mall levels. So that's why there's half floors. Anyway, um get a really good view from out here it's a bit windy tonight uh, as you can see the lights are on which I don't see why uh, another reason is because there's a lot of there aren't many people but I'll show you uh, th well I guess that's really the only reasons um, so yeah they keep doing things They're, they took out the two entrances down there like the right, so they're really leaving us a mystery because they keep proving our inference is wrong so I don't really know what they're gonna do uh, I'm really not sure where they're gonna put the service quarters and stuff I believe they might have a freight elevator in there I'm not sure but this is not going to be a parking uh, lot anymore it's going to be expanded of the east parking deck and because of that this whole part where I'm standing over um, like I'm standing and over like over there uh, will be demolished I'm going to show you why this is the second feature um, basically we are getting more new mall space than we are supposed to this should open in 2013 or 2014 um, basically what's going to happen is you see the court over there sort of um, we're going to connect the court to the plaza. As most of you know, King Prussia Mall is the biggest mall in America in terms of leasable retail space. And this expansion is going to make it the biggest mall in America, period. Um, so basically, we're going to have uh, a little hallway part from over here. It's going to make Neiman Marcus have a second mall entrance. And they have an option to expand, which will make it a 330A, most likely, uh, the elevator in there. Um, and, and so, I, I, I don't know how many floors, like, what, how that's going to work out, because, as some of you might know, um, the second floor of the court is, I guess, the same, I guess, ground level as the first level of the plaza, because it's sort of downhill. Um, so they're going to connect it. Uh, a little bit north of the uh, Macy's store, which used to be Bamberger's. Um, so you could sort of see the skylights over there. Uh, right over there. Um, that's where it's going to connect. Uh, there's going to be a big pavilion somewhere around here where it's going to ha feature a upscale food court. Uh, an upscale food court, sort of like this one over here, the cafe court. I think they might actually take this one out and put it over there, mainly because they just made the cafe court in in the middle of a hallway. Uh, wow, this video is taking up a lot of the battery. Um, so anyway, it's basically how it's going to be. Um, there will be another east parking deck entry. Actually, that's really going to be the only one, the one that they're about to build. Um, and they're probably going to have to take this elevator out, which is the double speed. It sucks already, so I guess that's a good thing. They might replace it. They might just put a new one in somewhere else. 
and they're probably gonna take this one out. Um, and Fletchia, yes, for the moment, this elevator can be made glass, and should be, but they probably won't do that. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and Macy's will have a second second mall entrance. It'll make everything much easier for everyone, but still, people will probably drive from one to another because, you know, it's such a it's still gonna walk a lot. Um, basically, that's it. Uh, yeah. Um, I think anything else I should tell you? No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, they're gonna demolish the crosswalk. And as a lot of you who have been here know, there is a crosswalk to get from the court to the plaza that connects to Macy's or Bamberger's, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and we don't really know what's going on with the construction since they're just, they keep leaving us in mystery. Simon still has not um, revealed who the, or the, uh, what should we call it, the uh, tenants are going to be. So I guess we'll have to find out in fall of 2012. So I guess that's it for this video. There's really not much, uh, but just explaining them what's going to happen. So, I guess that's it. Hello. Um, all the time that I haven't been able to re film or upload, a lot of changes that went through at this King of Persia Mall. One, they have Travelex ATMs instead of Bank of America. And two, um, well, no more guest services. They took out the guest services here, and they only left us the one near Lord and & Taylor, and the one in the court. Now, I think this was stupid, because they could have kept this one, and then the one in the court, so that the one in the middle would have been eliminated, so... Someone, you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, now, let's, let's walk out the rated entrance, the one over here. Oh, there is no entrance. That says exit the parking lot on that sign that I just showed you. Uh, if you want to rewind, see that. This is the temporary thing that I might have told you about earlier. Very temporary. Uh, I need to pretend I'm texting. This is where the security office is. Windy. Sorry about this, I don't like security. Ray dude still has an external entrance, at least I think. Zoom in. I can't zoom in. Right at external entrance. I hope the security doesn't come and catch me. Alright. They've already put it in the air conditioner for the new way. Uh, you could hear that they're doing work. So, yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Today is Friday, so. Story. And uh, as I told Dan Allen, DA41396 Returns, there might not be a two story store. It might just be one that takes up the majority of one of the floors. Uh, as you can see here, I have no idea what the F this is. Um, they blocked off about 
least when I was here last week. Yeah, I thought so. They blocked off. Alright, this is going to be a really short update video. Um, I don't really want to make it too long because they'll just like start yelling at me for uh, filming as in security. Um, basically, nothing much has happened f since last time. They just closed off uh, part of the road near the uh, right aid entrance down there. Um, what is big right now though is this. See, they closed it off. The escalators, I believe, are staying. But I don't know what this is. Could it be an elevator? I don't know. What, what is it? I mean, they just started digging and they took a little bit of that out. So. Anyway, just comment on the video if you have any idea what they might be doing. <laughs> Dan. <coughs> Alright. Um, I guess I will see y'all later. We are at the elevator, at level 2.5, the east parking deck, but look what they did, they cut off the whole first floor, because I believe that the elevator doesn't serve it anymore. Um, Maybe it's just that they just got a new one of these. Because I don't see any sign of straw ridges. But then again, that's pretty dusty up here because of what was happening during the demolition. Huh, it does still serve one. And sort of see a. But I'm not running this death trap. Um, because there's not enough people around. This is not a popular parking deck. Um. That's so weird. Anyway, it's uh, getting pretty well along with the construction. As you can see, there's uh, air conditioning parts all over the place. Um, now, we're on two and a half, so this is sort of like a balcony since this is the uh, East Parking Deck entrance to the plaza. Um, and that's on the second floor. Uh, it used to be over here, but as you probably know from the other videos, it's been demolished. Um, so that's a temporary entrance because of the new construction that will most likely happen. Um, now, the store that is closest to us right now, as you sort of see it, um, I believe that is the biggest store um i think this because uh you know, the biggest store is in the um crate and barrel size store i think this because um there's like those metal dividers over there all the way over there but there aren't in this store and this store is the only one that has um a bunch of air conditioning parts so um I don't see any holes for an elevator in the middle of the store or near the front sides. So I'm guessing it's going to be back here, like right around here. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm only getting it from the second two and a half floor because three would be too high to see into there. And two, well, that big thing is blocking it. Um, again, I think this is only a temporary thing as there, oh, no. Well, this motion detecting light. Um, I think it's only a temporary thing because of the um, the proposed construction plans to connect the plaza and the court to create a big building, and it'll be higher in complete space, not just retail. Uh, then, uh, well, more and I don't know, greater in space than Mall of America. Um, it already is in terms of retail space, but so here we have the entrance doors that are currently construction entrances but I believe they're going to expand that make it a big entrance for the big store um, the elevator should be like in this corner or that corner or something like that um, this is where the new part of the east parking deck should be if they even do go through with that plan um, for the time being though until the um, until the new wing, as in the 
connector wing is built. I believe this is just going to be a parking lot, but you can't be too sure. Um, because really you can't see into what's going on. Um, an update to the, um, the big hole that looked like either an elevator or an escalator or something like that. They have, if you look back to my other, my last update video in my playlist, the um, update videos, um, you should see that there is, like, in the hole, it looks sort of like a square target because there is a wood covering about, like, two and a half, maybe two feet in to the hole. Um, they have filled that out, outer layer with concrete and um, so now I actually well I don't really want to go all the way to show you something so little so I guess I'll show it to you in the next update video unless they've already done something with it um, I might as well go up to the third floor I'm definitely taking the main power elevator um, I'll go up to the third floor just to show you what's going on uh, on top of the new building. This is a Schindler 1996 man-powered elevator that would have RT fixtures. This one is not glass because its neighboring elevator is not either. That one, if they see over there, if they had put an elevator in next to that man-powered elevator like they do in, um, the west parking deck, it definitely would be glass, but they didn't do that. And now I'll show you what's going on on top of the building. There's the air conditioner. Um, basically just a bunch of white ceiling or roofing. Um, there's the other stuff. You can see there's more people than usual parking up here on the third floor, which is usually not a parking floor. Um, no, I'm not tall enough to get that. It should be very tall to get that part, but there's nothing really on top of this building. This is just the plaza. Um, that's what it looks down. The fence is in the way. Let's hold on very tightly. There you go. Now, I'm sorry about that. There's the elevator. There's the little balcony that looks down to the second floor. And I think that's it. There's Neva Marcus. Um, there is the Hyatt House. It is not a Hotel Sierra anymore. And then, right across the turnpike, which is the road behind the Hyatt House, is a Hyatt place, which is weird. So, anyway, um, oh, and Dan, if you have to comment on this video, like say anything to me about it, please write it in the comments because it, I just, if you talk to me in a Skype call, no one will know what your thoughts are, and everyone loves your thoughts. So, please comment on the video if you have anything to say about it. And, I guess that's it. Okay, um, I'm starting a video here. There's security down there, so I'm just going to keep this part quick. Um, there you go. I think that that's for the new thing, the big gaping hole. I'm not sure, though. But for now, I'm just going to um, keep this away because security is right down there talking to a woman. So, hold on a minute.
or at the cafe court elevator. I'm gonna take it up to the uh, east parking deck entrance to the second floor. Sorry about the key jingling. I'm probably gonna put an annotation there, or whatever you call that thing. Um, it was um, my magic powers in my pocket <laughs> that I had right next to the iPod when I put it in there. Um, this place is like scattered with security everywhere, so um, yeah. By the way, I would have taken the stairs over there, but as you can see, they're gone. And no, they're, they are not putting a new escalator in, as I had guessed wrong. And I don't know why they didn't put a new stairwell in, because really they took the old one down because of a malfunction with the sprinkler. And so I don't really know what's going on there, but um, my guess is that they're just keeping it the way it is. I did, I, I don't know if anyone saw, uh, heard about it, but I did make a request for them to replace the cafe court elevator, because as you probably know, it sucks. Um, I don't know, I mean, they seriously need to get new transportation, floor-to-floor uh, -floor transportation, because it's horrible here. That's why all my videos are so long. Um, I'm not taking the elevator, because it's just going to be too slow. It's a death trap, really. It's, it's sort of reliable, but it's still slow. Um, but as first, um, I'm just show you a little. They put bricks on the side, the outside of this. Um, I just went up to the third floor. I'm gonna skip two and a half because that's really pointless. It's just like two, except it's just got a be slightly better view. Um, so I'm going all the way to the top. I'm walking slowly because I have like pain in my ankles for some reason just really weird and so it was just recent but um anyway uh first i'm gonna show you over here there's a little balcony that looks down on the second floor entrance uh, and then there's where the old entrance used to be if you can see it sorry for that well it was across from the security uh, it said Forever 21 coming soon, and it said that on both floors, so that's what I'm guessing is going to be the two-story store. But, again, I'm not sure where it is. I believe it's closer to Rite Aid than it is to this place. Sorry about the wind. As you can see, they covered this place up. Um, damn, I'm so sorry about the wind. Um, I'm going to stand behind this elevator canopy. Um, so... Basically, because they covered everything up, um, we're not going to be uh, sure where they're going to put the elevator. Um, because, uh, you know, we can't really see anything. Um, but yeah. Basically, they paved a little bit of that road over there, all the way over there, but um, how much has happened? I'm, I have to go down to the first floor to show you um, what else is going on. I'm just going to take the elevator. I mean, really? It doesn't really... You know what? To tell you the truth, I think that the stairs might even be faster going from three to one. So, let's do that. So, anyway, um, what's going on is that... Um, well, I asked a lady at customer service um, about, you know, what the, uh, when the grand opening is. She said that they still have no idea. Oh, damn it, I forgot. This is closed off, so I do have to take the elevator. Um, yeah, uh, they don't really know when the grand opening date is because they're not sure, I'm guessing, about stuff with uh, electricity, water, stuff like that, and the possible new elevator that we might get, or two, really, because of the Forever 21, the potential Forever 21, because, you know, I'm not too sure if that's a two-story store that they're putting in. They already have a Forever 21, um, so I'm guessing that they're just moving that. 
Um, but that Forever 21 is one story. Um, now, I'm trying to determine, uh, I mean, I, I, I mean, it, it could be Forever 21. There was a little banner on the second floor, but it wasn't in line with the uh, Forever 21 thing on the first floor. So it possibly might be Barnes and Noble. It could be another store. Uh, I, I really have no idea what it could be. It takes the longest time to level when it gets down to one. So you might think that we're stuck in here, but we're not. And here we are. Look both ways, make sure that there's no security. And let's take a little peek. All right, here we go. Now this is where the entrance is gonna be over there. And then I guess this is like a little supermarket type thing where, I don't know, but, um, yeah, so, anyway, um, there's a little new entrance, that's where it used to be, but, by the way, they put in this, uh, cinder block wall, um, I really want to end the video, because security is scattered throughout this place, so, I'm ending it right here, there's a coke machine, and that's it. Okay, um, we're on the third floor of the um, east parking deck, King of Prussia Mall, King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. Um, I don't know if you can see it down there, but that door right there, um, that has a stairwell, and all these doors are like the service quarter doors, so um, I'm not sure. I think this might be the loading dock area. That means that the elevator has to go in here somewhere. Um, they finally put on the doors. I, I, I can see that they're not ent entrance doors, but you know they could always change. These might just be temporary. I doubt it. Fire door type that you see. Sorry, my bag is getting in the way. But yeah. So I don't know. Um, so sorry about the wind, but you know, I can't control that. They got this whole building now, up and stuff. All I have to do is put the car in there. The thing is, there's a loading dock right over there, and I just got the little battery light, just perfect. Um, let's see what else. I hope they modernize it or replace it or do something to it. It might make it glass. Because now that there's no straw bridges there, it can easily be made glass. Along with that one over there. So yeah. It's a nice view of um, this part of King of Prussia and then there's the rest of it. This is really the most western point of King of Prussia. Yeah. And there you go, they're starting to put some gravel down there and drainage pipes are getting up. It looks like. So, so yeah. There's obviously going to be a Forever 21 because we saw that the last time. Hmm. There's a Crown Plaza. I think that that's it because there's really nothing else to show you. There's this big thing and I don't know what they're going to do about this. They might, well, I doubt it, but they might make a little sky bridge. But if they were to make a sky bridge, it would probably be on two because that's the uh, level that, that would be on. But I highly doubt it. So, um, I guess that's it.